Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. We're going to talk about probability. And I think the probability that you'll understand probability by the end of this lesson is close to 100%. We'll start with an easy solution. We'll start by flipping a coin. Okay, we'll flip a coin. And when we're talking about probability, the event that we're trying to find the probability of is called the experiment. So our experiment will be flipping the coin. And there's two potential outcomes. Because it's a coin toss, there aren't that many uh, potential outcomes. It can only end up on heads or it can end up on tails. Now let's say you win if it ends up on heads. That means the favorable outcome, the one you're trying to find out the probability of, is it landing on heads. A win is when the coin lands on heads. Well you probably know the probability of it landing on heads. It's 50-50. It's 50 percent. But how did we come up with 50 percent? How did we come up with the probability? Well here it is. This is it. This is the learning moment for this entire lesson. This is the only thing you gotta memorize. Probability is the number of ways you can win divided by the number of potential outcomes. How about for our coin toss? What would the probability equal? Well, it would be the number of ways you can win. Now there's two, only one way you can win. The coins got to land on heads. So it's one divided by the number of potential outcomes. And there's two potential outcomes. It could land on heads or it could land on tails. So the probability is one divided by two or one half. Now you could also express that as a decimal. The probability is 0.5. And it's probably most frequently expressed as a percentage. 0.5 equals 50%. Well, probability is easy when we flip a coin because there's only two outcomes. Let's try to find something a little more complicated. Now, if I had two dice, I'd use two dice, but I don't have a pair of dice. I only have a single die. So we'll use that. And I wonder what the probability of rolling a three would be. Hmm. Well, let's see. I only win if I roll a three. So there's only one way to win. And there's six potential outcomes because there's six sides to the die. So my probability of winning is one over six, one divided by six. Well, what if my experiment wanted me to find the probability of rolling a number greater than four? How would I figure that out? Well, there's two ways to win. I can roll a five or I can roll a six. And there's four ways to lose. I can roll a one, two, three, or four. So there's two ways to win and six potential outcomes. So my probability is two divided by six. Now I can simplify that fraction to one divided by three, and I can convert one third to a decimal, and I can convert the decimal to a percent. All right, how about this one? What if I'm trying to find the probability of rolling an even number? Well, I win if I get a 2, a 4, or a 6, and I lose with a 1, a 3, or a 5. So there's three ways to win, and still six potential outcomes. So my probability is 3 divided by 6, or 1 half, or 50%.
You try this one. What's the probability of spinning this wheel and landing on either red, orange, or red, orange? Hit your pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. Well, in order to calculate this probability, we'll need to remember the equation for probability. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's the number of ways you can win divided by the number of potential outcomes. Well, we win in this case if we land on orange, red, orange, or red. So there's one, two, three ways we can win. And if you count all those color patches, you're going to discover that there are 12 potential outcomes. So, the probability of winning or spinning and landing on red, orange, or red, orange is 3 divided by 12, which equals 1 divided by 4, or 25%. Well, I hope you're all familiar with a deck of cards, at least familiar enough to be able to solve this problem. There are four suits in a deck of cards, and there's 13 cards in each suit. One of the suits is hearts, so there are 13 hearts. So, the probability of drawing a heart would be calculated by dividing the number of ways you can win, and there are 13 hearts, so there are 13 ways you could win, by the number of total potential outcomes. And since there's 52 playing cards, there's 52 potential outcomes. So our probability is 13 divided by 52, which is 1 in 4, which equals 25%. Well, this is a word problem, so I'm going to see you see see it so I can focus in on what's important. I'm going to circle the numbers and I'm going to underline the question. I circled 40 girls because 40 is a number. I circled five teams because five is a number. And I've underlined the question. What is the probability that you will be chosen to be on one of the teams you want? Now, in order to calculate that probability, I'm going to need to remember what the probability formula is. Can you tell me what it is? I forget. Say it out loud. Yeah, that's right. It's the number of ways you can win divided by the number of potential outcomes. So i got to figure out what each of those elements is. The number of ways you can win. What is that? Well, is it five? It says right here there were five teams, but that's you don't win with any team, so that, that must that's the number of potential outcomes. All right, well, I've got my denominator. Now I need to come up with the numerator. And I circle 40. It must be 40. But wait, is 40? Wait, 40 is the number of girls that signed up for the league. It's not the number of ways I win. I guess i got to look deeper. It says right here that you want to be on either the Thunder team or the Lightning team. That's, that's the favorable outcome. That's when you win. One of these two teams is what you want to be on. So, you win two ways, and there are five potential outcomes. So, the probability is 2 divided by 5, which equals 40%. Well, that's our lesson on probability, and it's pretty easy, I think. But you should go to mastermath.info and download the worksheet on probability and try that. Then go back to mastermath and try the quiz on probability. And be sure you come back and see us again soon.